Okay, so we had a great question through the website about golf balls and about what to use and where to use it scenario. You know, I'm in the same boat, by the way. I, I can use both balls and be equally happy. TP5X for me goes off the tee a little longer. TP5 black goes a little sort of um, shorter, but it feels better around the green. I can feel I've got more spin, more control. Now, look at putting as a general rule now. We know what smash factor or impact ratio you should be creating which is around the 1.7 mark, all right? If it's higher than 1.8, your speed controls are probably a little lively. If it's below 1.6, unless you're putting on this sort of surface, you're probably gonna to struggle to sort of get the ball to the hole. But acoustically, this is where I wanna go with you right now. A lot of putting sound is feel. So if you look at this putter here, it's a tailor-made Berwick putter, right? So if you stand there and hit it, that's a TP5X, you can hear it, it's a little firmer. TP5, can you hear the difference? It's a softer sound. If you prefer that softer acoustic, then you're gonna give up some distance off the tee. Yeah, you can get a lower spinning driver and we can look at stuff like that. Or, if you prefer that sort of higher pitch click, then you'd have to get a firmer putter insert. Equally, flip it on its head. If you wanna play TP5X, which is firmer off the tee, it goes a little longer, but you don't want to give up the feel on the greens, then you need to get a softer insert or a softer putter, i.e. like an even roll or some putter that kills the speed with a softer face. Remember, over the years, balls have got harder and harder because they've gone further and further. Putting-wise, that means these have got to get softer. So, you know, back in the day when you had the old Bellata balls, you could have a concrete brick on it and it would be fine. Nowadays, the thing would just spring off the face like a cannon. So. Again, coming back to speed control and short game, what you work with. I would always go with a ball that you can control around the greens more than off the tee. Um, I know that there's been discussions about balls that go a long way, and I remember back in the day when I worked for TaylorMade, Max Fly made a ball for Sergio because he wanted to go literally as far as he could. It was a brick, but he liked it off the tee, but he couldn't chip and putt with it. It didn't last very long in his bag. So this is what I mean about golf balls and how you've got to test them and once you get the feeling what you're looking for and what you want to hear, that's the important part. The acoustics part is very important. If you like to feel it a little softer, then get that dialed in. It's the same as a wedge. Don't get a wedge with a hard insert. Get it as a forged roar or whatever you can get softness so you can be you know, accelerating through the shot but knowing you can't get too much speed on the exit. But a great question. Hope that's helped. As ever, give us a shout or give us an email if you have any more questions.